hello everyone welcome back so today's topic is going to be on double pointer which means pointer to a pointer the previous sessions three videos which i had posted i had taught you the basics of pointers what exactly is pointer okay then how to uh, declare a pointer how to initialize pointer how to assign pointer values so these are the three videos which i had posted so i hope you have no doubts in those videos okay now this is the other extended uh, concept of pointers so today's topic will be the extended concept of pointers where i'm going to teach you how to how to assign pointer to a pointer which means how, how to declare double pointers and how to access values using double pointers okay so the takeaway the key takeaways will be you'll be learning about double pointers double pointers okay you'll be learning about triple pointers okay and then level of pointers we'll be learning few level of pointers okay so in uh, in detail you will understand uh, these these concepts so these are the takeaways of today's session fine so let us not waste time let us move into the actual concept now uh, let me first uh, know uh, teach you the basic concepts then i'll teach you the diagram and then we'll start right doing the coding part i'll teach you the coding part and after that i'll show you the execution of the code okay now i suppose if i have a variable int a with value 30 okay this is normal variable declaration right int a is equal to 30 okay this is variable declaration correct this is a variable declaration suppose i want to declare a pointer how do you declare a pointer int star ptr1 so what is ptr1 it is a pointer variable it is a special variable that holds address of another variable understand ptr1 star 1 okay this represents now ptr1 is a pointer variable which holds address of some other variable so this is how you declare a pointer pointer declaration okay now after pointer declaration how do i assign this pointer so ptr1 what is ptr1 it is a pointer variable that should hold address of another variable so which is a normal variable here it is a so address of a always please do remember a pointer variable will hold address of another variable but it doesn't hold any value of any value okay it doesn't hold any value of a variable but it holds only address of the variable okay this is how you assign a value to a pointer now after these three lines what will be the memory reference memory status okay come to this diagram here okay now i have declared after these three lines we have one variable a and one pointer variable okay ptr1 now assume that variable a has been allocated at address 1000 and ptr1 pointer variable has been assigned memory at address 2000 okay what is the value here it is int a equal to 30 what is the data type int okay so what is the value of a value of a will be 30 so this is how the memory reference will be uh, you know this is how the memory reference will be allocated for a and after line number two star ptr1 what is the data type in star no, so this star refers during the declaration statement indicating the variable that you specify after star will be a pointer variable so what is this the value of this pointer variable will be address of a right so what is the address of a here a has been allocated memory at 1000 okay so value of ptr1 will be 1000 got it okay what is value of ptr1 it is 1000 so this is a single pointer okay now coming to double pointer how do you declare a double pointer so what is what exactly is a pointer variable it holds address of another variable right i'll just write here pointer variable means pointer variable is a special type of variable that holds address of another variable right double pointer it is also a special variable that holds address of another pointer variable that is the difference got it it holds address of another pointer variable okay now assume see the picture here now assume i am declaring one more pointer variable int okay 
assume here PTR2, okay. I am declaring one more pointer variable. Po pointer variable PTR1 is the first pointer variable at level 1. So, here after these two lines, what is the, um, uh, what is the link? Just observe the link here. PTR1 will be pointing to variable A, right. PTR1 will be pointing to variable A. Got it? So, after these three lines, this is the actual memory status, fine. But now, I am going to declare one more pointer variable which is named PTR2, okay. And I am going to make this pointer variable point to address of PTR1, another pointer variable, okay. So, now PTR2 is also a pointer variable that holds address of another pointer variable. So, how do I declare? See, look, observe here, it should be a pointer variable which means I have to represent by star PTR2, right. PTR2, I need to represent it with star. Now, PTR2, I need to declare. But what type of, uh, what is the data type here? Since it is going to point to PTR1, first level of a pointer. This is the second level. This is first level of pointer. What is the data type here? It is int star. So, obviously, I have to write int star. In double star PTR2. This is how you declare a double pointer. Double pointer declaration understood so how did i do i'll just repeat here again see i need to declare one more pointer variable ptr2 right a ptr2 variable name pointer variable that should hold address of another pointer variable since it is pointer variable obviously i have to prefix it with star okay i have to prefix ptr2 with star because it is a pointer variable that should hold some address right but it is pointing to another pointer variable which means then it should find out which pointer variable it is pointing it is pointing to the data type int star then i have to write in double star ptr2 this is how you declare another pointer variable okay so what is the data type here the data type of this will be int star star got it okay now uh, what is the next line after declaration i have to assign value to ptr2 so what is ptr2 ptr2 is equal to since it should point to another pointer variable i need to write address of ptr1 where is actually ptr1 memory is reserved it is stored ptr1 is stored at address 2000 right so obviously the ptr2 value what should be the ptr2 value it should have 2000 got it since ptr2 is equal to address of ptr1 obviously then there will be a link to ptr1 got it understood what exactly is happening see these three lines int a is equal to 30 means memory reference at 1000 a is assigned memory with value 30 it's line number two in star ptr1 it is pointer so there's one more pointer variable where memory is allocated assume suppose at 2000 memory is assigned to ptr1 okay line number three i'm going to assign values ptr1 as address of a right so there is a link ptr1 is pointing to a so what is the value it is address of a what is address of a 1000 so value of ptr1 will be 1000 okay what is the data type it is in star one level of pointer right so the next one Line number 4, int double star PTR2. Why double PTR2? Because PTR2 is a pointer variable. So, star PTR2. But since it is pointing to one more pointer variable, what is the data type of that? Int, int star. So, it will be prefixed with int star star PTR2. Okay, double pointer declaration. And what is the value? Since PTR2 should hold address of another pointer variable, right? So, I am just writing PTR2 is equal to address of PTR1. Okay. Understood? Now, what is the value here? It is 2000. So, it is pointing to the previous pointer, PTR1. Now, assume I am declaring one more pointer variable. What is the pointer variable? PTR3. Okay. Since it is pointer variable, I have to write star PTR3, right? It should be star PTR3. Understood? But to which pointer I am trying to, I am trying to make PTR2, 3 point to PTR2. What is the data type of that? In double star. So, it should be prefixed with int double star then followed by star PTR. Okay. This is triple pointer declaration. It is triple pointer declaration. Okay. If it is triple pointer declaration, then PTR3 will be assigned memory space. Assume it is being reserved at 4000. Memory is assigned at address 4000. Okay. After this line, now PTR3 should have some value, right? It is possible. Suppose PTR3 is equal to address of, it is pointing to PTR2. PTR2. 
what will happen? There is again a link from PTR3 to PTR2. Got it? So, what will be the value here? What is the value? It is again 3000. Got it? Why it is 3000? Because it is pointing to 3000. Address of PTR2. Address of PTR2 is 3000. That's why the value of PTR is PTR3 is 3000. Understood? After this particular line, PTR3 will be address of PTR2. Since it is pointing here, it is 3000. So, this is how you declare and assign values to pointers. Uh, a one level pointer, which one level pointer is PTR1 is pointing to a variable, pointer to a variable. PTR1 to A is pointer to a variable. PTR2, it is pointer to pointer. Understand? PTR2 is pointer to pointer, double pointer. PTR3, it is again pointer to pointer. It is again double pointer. Okay? So, it is pointing. The value will be three level below. So, it is triple pointer. You understood? Okay? Now, this is how you declare and assign multiple pointers. Understood? Okay, now, assume, suppose in PTR3 is equal to, instead of PTR2, I am trying to assign address of PTR1. Understand? PTR3, I have assigned it as address of PTR2, which means it is pointing to the previous pointer, PTR2. What if I make a change, PTR3 is equal to address of PTR1. PTR3 is pointing to PTR1. It is illegal. This is illegal. Understand? PTR3 is equal to PTR2. It is legal. Okay. Suppose if I make PTR3 is equal to address of PTR1, then it is illegal. Because we can assign address only one level above. Only one level above, only one level above we can assign address. So this is illegal. Understood? This way is illegal. So you cannot assign address like this. You got it? Okay, only this particular part is legal. So I'll make it as comment line. You understood? So, suppose I can give PTR2 is equal to address of PTR1. I cannot give PTR2 is equal to address of A because it is two level above, which means it will be illegal way of assigning address to a pointer variable. It can be only one level above. PTR3 pointing to address PTR2, PTR2 holding the address of PTR1, PTR1 holds the address of A, a variable. Okay, this is how you have to assign you in case of double pointers. Understood? Okay, now how do we retrieve values? I'll teach you how to retrieve values here. Observe. I'll write print, printf, value of A is equal to percentage D, value of A is equal to percentage D, A, which means it will print, value will be A is equal to, value of A is equal to 30. What is the value here? It is 30. So, I'll get the output 30. Okay. Another statement, printf, value of A is equal to percentage D. Okay, I'll write star PTR1. What is the value here? Since already we have learned, output will be A is equal to 30. Okay, now I'll make use of double pointer, printf, value of A is equal to percentage D. Okay. I'll write star of star PTR2. Observe. I write star of star PTR2. Now, how do I write this? It will be star of star PTR2. What is the value of PTR2 here? Star of star what is the value of ptr2 what is value of ptr2 2000 right so it will be 2000 got it see star of star ptr2 double pointers star of star ptr2 star of star what is ptr2 value here it is 2000 which means it is pointing to address 2000 okay now what is the meaning here if you have uh, no understood the previous video you will know Star represents dereferencing operator, which means value at address 2000. Star 2000 mean star 2000 meaning means value. Star means value at 2000. 
what is value at 2000 at address 2000 what is the value it is 1000 so what you will write here it is 1000 okay that is equal to star of what is the value at 1000 see here it is value at 1000 right star of 1000 means value at 1000 what is value at 1000 it is 30 so i'll get the answer as 30 we got it so star of ptr star of star ptr2 means star of star ptr2 which means star star represents value at ptr2 what is value of ptr2 2000 so it will be value of 2000 what is value of 2000 here it goes and fetches 1000 so it will be the star 2000 will be replaced by 1000 then again outer star of 1000 will be 1000 what is the value 30 so it will be 30 okay now i'll teach you how to print using triple pointers the same value value of a is equal to percentage d okay star of star of star ptr 3 understood got it so it will be star of star of star what is ptr3 value ptr3 value what is the value at ptr3 it is 3000 right so it will be star of 3000 that is equal to star of 3000 solve uh, no first resolve the innermost star 3000 means value at 3000 what is value at 3000 at 3000 address what is the value 2000 so star 3000 will be replaced by star star of 2000 got it that is equal to now star of two, 2000 means value at address 2000 it is 1000 so this will be replaced by 1000 that is equal to star of 1000 not a star at 1000 value at 1000 is equal to 30 so i'll get the answer 30 so okay this is also valid i can write like this also print f value of a is equal to percentage d okay i can write star star ptr2 this will also work okay then i can write print f value of a is equal to percentage d star triple star ptr3 this is also valid statement okay the previous one is also valid statement either you can use Either you can use these two statements or you can use these two statements. Both are same. Okay. This is how the calculation is done. This is how you retrieve the values using double pointers. Okay. So, the overall concept is you have to understand a single pointer variable means it is a special type of variable that holds address of another variable which means pointed to a variable. Okay. Double pointer means it is a special variable that holds address of another pointer variable which means only one level above it can hold. It will hold. Okay, only that is legal. Got it? So, how do you declare double pointer? Star PTR2. But what is it? To which pointer variable? What is the data type of the pointer variable? It is int star. So, it points to int star. Similarly, triple pointer PTR3. Star PTR3. Why it is double star uh, prefixed again with double star? Because the previous, the address that it is going to point is int double star. So, you are adding double star before one more star for triple pointer. Okay. If you want to retrieve the values here, this is how you retrieve. Got it? I hope now it is clear. Now let's move on to the execution part. Now the execution part, let me write down the code snippet here. Starting with hash include stdio.h int main. Okay. Then within main method, I just write a declaration statement for int a is equal to 30. Fine. Then one pointer variable in star ptr1 is it ptr1. Okay. Fine. Then I declare, I, I declare it here itself, comma, double star ptr2, comma, triple star ptr3. Okay. Now there are three pointer variables. Oh, now what, what do I do? I just assign ptr1 is equal to address of a. 
now what is the value of ptr1 it is it holds address of a okay then i write ptr2 okay let me print the value print as value of a is equal to percentage d backslash n okay a print as value of a using single pointer is equal to percentage d backslash n comma star ptr 1 correct then i write return 0 because the return type of main method is integer okay now let me run the code see value of a is equal to 30 value of a using single pointer is equal to 30 okay so it's retrieving the value fine now let me make use of double pointers i'll make use of ptr2 and then ptr3 what you have to do? ptr2 should hold address of ptr1 right one level above so it is one level above ptr1 okay then ptr3 is equal to address of ptr2 right you got you understood this okay now using these two pointers double pointer and triple pointer let me print the value of a print f value of a using double pointer is equal to percentage d a new line what i have to write i can either write star star ptr2 or i can write star within bracket star of ptr2 okay this is also valid okay then print f value of a using triple pointer is equal to percentage d backslash n okay triple star ptr3 i can write like this or i can just add brackets anything is valid okay semicolon got it okay any doubt okay now let's run the code see the value value of a is equal to 30 value of a using single pointer 30 double pointer 30 triple pointer 30 got it so this is how you make use of double pointers and triple pointers four level pointers also you can use but using four asterisk symbol four asterisk symbols should be used okay now i'll just add few more lines understand here now i'll change star ptr1 is equal to 25 what is the actual value a value is 30 now i'm making star ptr1 is equal to 25 now observe what exactly is happening ptr1 is pointing to address of a which means now i'm trying to change the value of a by directly pointing to the memory address now what is the value of a now observe print f value of a is equal to percentage d slash n then i'll print the actual value of a but what is the actual value of a 30 but using pointer since ptr1 is pointing to variable a the value of 30 will be replaced by 25 because directly i'm going into the mem i have direct contact with the memory reference i'm changing the value of a so it is 25 okay this is the actual uh, concept of pointers now let me run the code let's check what is the actual output now see value of a is 30 single pointer 30 everything is 30 because it is sequential execution and at line number 15 i'm changing the value of a using pointer ptr1 so it is 25 now value of a i'm just printing the value of variable a now value of variable a has been changed okay so for using pointers we can have direct contact with the memory address where we can directly change the value now i'll make one more change i'll add star 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 ptr3 is equal to 40 now what will be the value of a now using triple pointer i'm changing the value of a that is 40 right so print f value of a is equal to percentage d backslash n okay a again i'm printing the value of a now what exactly is happening here please observe ptr1 at one level is it is pointing to pointer variable to a ptr2 at two levels it is pointing to variable a ptr3 at three level it is pointing to variable obviously all the pointers are pointing to a single variable so value of a initially is 30 
then after line number 15 the value of a will be 25 after value of 17 value of a should be 40 because i'm actually trying to print the value of variable and not the pointer variables okay through pointer variables i'm just changing here see value of a is equal to 40 you understood this is the actual code how exactly a single pointer double pointer triple pointers will work i hope you understood the level of pointers clearly okay so what exactly is double pointer a pointer that holds address of another pointer variable is double pointer if the pointers concepts are very easy if you understand how to use asterisk symbol dereferencing operator and address operator which means reference operator in proper way it will be very easy i hope you understood the concept thank you